The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, not just a series of crazy British humor books by Douglas Adams, but also a crazy British humor interactive fiction game by Douglas Adams. I don't care much for the game, but it is written well and it's pretty funny. There's an object in there that says that thing that your aunt gave you that you don't know what it is or something. You switch through uh, a, a number of different characters. You play as a number of different characters. You can play as Zaphod Beetlebrox, you can play as Arthur Dent, you can play as Ford Prefect. It, it contained not only all the great humor that was found in the books, but it also was kind of infamous for its uh, difficulty. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy was one of those games, and these were common in the 80s, where uh, if you did something wrong, the game was unwinnable. You input commands that the computer doesn't understand. You die. You suck at this game. Don't panic, I guess. There was challenges that made absolutely no sense, which kind of, you know, it, when you look at the source material, yeah, okay. You have to get the uh, babble fish. And there, you had to do it, and it, there was a very specific sequence of events, and there was, it was timed. You could only make a certain number of moves before the game would just, you would lose. It, it wouldn't kill you outright, but you just couldn't progress any further. You have to do so many crazy, crazy things. Eventually, you know, the company released t-shirts saying that you conquered the Babelfish, you know, portion of the game. And uh, there was a number of really cool feelies that were included in, uh, in the box. Like a pin that says, don't panic, or, you know, a little piece of paper that says, you know, this is, uh, <laughs> The, the, the Arthur Dent's house destruction order, things like that. Danger sensitive sunglasses, which were just black cardboard that you put on, so they were always sensing danger. And uh, there was an empty plastic bag with a label on it that said uh, microscopic Starfleet. That's awesome. Even today, you got people going for the ultimate editions of certain games just because they have art books or this or that and the other, but this was like the golden age of including crap with video games. If you like difficult games and you're interested in text adventures, uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, in my opinion, is one of the best ones that you can check out.